What's up guys? Welcome to your 199th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And we're getting towards the end there. So uh, what we're going to do now is put our application on the marketplace. So, you know, you can share all of your hard work with the world. Um, so what we're going to do is, again, just pretty much what we did with our Maps activity. First, we need to sign our project and all that great stuff. So we're just going to right-click our project, go to Prop or to Android Tools, and go to Export Signed Application. And we're just going to click that, hit Next. And then we can either use our existing key store that we use for the Maps activity as well, the same certificate. Um, if you choose but we're just going to create a new one and again we're just going to browse the location where we keep our key stores or whatever and again mine is just within and documents and then android apps here and that's where i'm going to save it as i'm just going to call this tnb for the new boston and i'm just going to say uh, key store hit enter and then we have to say a password so just make up a password that you guys will remember Again, this is kind of review, so I'm just going kind of quickly through this. And again, we just need to create an alias, so I'm just going to say the new Boston alias. And uh, make sure I spell it right there. And then again, just a password that you guys will remember. Again, your key store password and your alias password can be the same. That doesn't matter. We're going to say a thousand years validity and also first name. And just hit next then we gotta locate where we want to save the, save the APK and I'm just gonna save it in the same folder as well and there we go we're just gonna hit finish so so far nothing new uh, now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go into the Android marketplace which is just market.android.com forward slash publish and to become a publisher for the Android uh, it only costs 25 bucks whereas like Apple I think it's like a hundred bucks a year uh, Android is just a one-time fee of 25 bucks, so that's pretty awesome. As of right now, I don't I don't know if they're going to change in the future, so um, you guys might just want to sign up now. Uh, I don't know if you have 25 bucks, but uh, it's pretty cheap. And then once you get signed in, uh, you'll have a screen like this once you're once you're logged in and you're a developer and everything. And you're just going to go to upload application. Pretty simple. We got to choose the APK, so we're going to locate where we just saved that APK. Again, the documents, Android apps, and the new Boston APK. Just gonna hit that and open, and then hit upload. It takes a little bit, not too long here. So it's about two megabytes, <clears throat> and uh, then it's uploaded our APK. Shows all of our permissions that we're using. We're just gonna save that, and then what we, what we need to do is we need to add at least two screenshots. And they have to be by these dimensions. So, if you guys want to use your computer to take, like, you know, run your application on your emulator or something, take a screenshot, and then you know, use like a Paint or GIMP or something to edit it to these exact portions, um, which you you will need to have these specific uh, dimensions uh, to upload. So then we're just going to locate those files. Pretty simple. I saved a few on my desktop somewhere. I save so much stuff on my desktop it's ridiculous but uh, no that's not that one so I'm just gonna pick one screenshot open it and then we just hit upload and again we need at least two so I'm just gonna add another one by just down here we choose another file so I'm gonna pick this maps one um, even though the maps isn't in this actual in this in this project so I don't know if that's going to confuse people or not, but whatever. Um, so now we have two pictures, and then we need to add a high resolution picture, again by a specific dimension of 100, or I'm sorry, 512 by 512 pixels, either PNG or JPEG, with a maximum of, you know, that many kilobytes. So again, we're just going to pick a pr uh, picture um, after you guys edit one. So. I've, I've already created one here and then again we just hit upload pretty simple stuff I mean it's a pretty easy walkthrough we select the title we're just gonna say the new Boston basics and we're just gonna say this app you know add a description so just you know create a brief description something that uh, 
will be displayed when the user is looking at the app, see if they want to download it. So, you know, sell them, get them interested there. And then we can also, you know, make some recent changes if we want to update to our description later and all that good stuff, as well as promo text. Uh, we're also going to select the application type, so we're going to say this is an application because it's not really too much of a game, I guess. And a category, so we're just going to say like education. Copyright, you can either turn that on or off. Uh, basically, we're just going to leave it off because we don't really care for the most part <laughs> for, for this application anyways. And then also the content rating, uh, everyone should be able to use this. I don't think we did anything too offensive. But uh, so we're just going to say everyone and then all countries, pricing is free. Um, you can also set up a merchant account uh, so you can you know get paid for your applications um, as well. And so there we go. Uh, we have that set up. We might want to you know uh, give some additional information that they can contact us with. I'm just going to leave the website. And again, we just have to agree to the guidelines and you know all that all that good stuff. So we're just going to hit accept those, and then uh, we're going to go over to this APK files up here and say active. So that attaches our APK, and uh, there we go. We're just going to hit publish, and we are in the market, guys. Um, so again, I uh, hope you liked like this tutorial. Um, as you can see, here's our application. Should be able to be downloaded as of now, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're going to learn about updates. So it's going to be pretty important uh, because again you guys when you do an update you need to remember your password for your certificate or your key store and your alias and all that stuff so make sure you check out that last tutorial and before you before you forget so um, I'll see you guys then and have a good one